Hey, hey guys, good afternoon, good afternoon everybody, welcome, welcome back. Sorry about the lack of streams this week, guys, I've been mega busy in real life dealing with some stuff. But we're back, we're back again, we're back in the Augusta 139 as well. I've not flown this aircraft for a very, very, very long time. I'm not even sure if I can remember how to start the goddamn thing up. So this might be a bit of a disaster, guys, but we'll see how it goes. Um, shout out to my main man from the Captain's Club, my man Mac Visions up in this house. Always good to see you, Mac. The return of the Mac, bro. I was listening to that song earlier on today in the gym, smashing it out in the fucking gym, bro. Um, yeah, so we're uh, going to be doing some uh, air ambulance work in the Augusta 139 today. We're going to fly from, we're at RAF Norfolk at the moment. We're going to fly from RAF Norfolk. We're going to fly to the uh, Royal London Hospital and pick up our medical team and then we're going to head out. I have to go at about two o'clock, so we've got about an, uh, just just under two hours, an hour and a half, an hour and a bit to uh, do some rescues. So we'll get out there shooting MiG-2 on the 414 and then I actually need to go to work. I'm working later on today doing a bit of overtime, so um, we will see how that goes. Welcome on board, guys. I hope everyone is well. Hello to everybody else that's watching on YouTube. Hello to the guys that are just joining us on Twitch. Welcome on board, folks. If I can just untangle wires, what the fuck is going on here? Just bear with me, guys, while I fix this disaster that's happening on my desk here. God damn it. I got wires and wires. I know why this is happening. I know why this is happening. Bob Saget. My friend uh, was fixing my SSD, so he took all the cables out of my uh, back in my PC, and I think he's put them back into some different slots. So hopefully this wire is going to reach long enough. Oh fuck's sake! This doesn't look good, guys. I may have to. Oh no! What is going on here? So it tangled there. Right, kind of. No fuck's sake. Hold on guys. I'm gonna have to Oh Christ, how am I gonna fix this? Uh oh yeah, I should be able to just unplug track IR and plug it back in again. Aha! Fucking one! What have I just unplugged there then? Uh oh. Wait, what one's fucking track I are? This one. Where do you go? Where do you go? Here and into it. Fucking here somewhere, guys. <laughs> hey, everybody! I look really small. <laughs> What's up, guys? Should we try and fly from here? See how this goes. Let's fucking get in the air, guys. Get me in the goddamn skies. God damn it! Right. Hopefully, this still works. range of motion. Hopefully this still works. It, oh, I know why it doesn't work. Right. Right, guys, slowly but surely. We'll get there together, guys. We'll get there. I know that. I know that we'll get there together. Unforgettable. That's what you are. Hey, my main man Danny boy's in the house. Good to see you, Danny. Welcome on board. It's not Cow and Sim, no. This is the um, X Rotors. The X Rotors um, Augusta 139. If anybody knows how to fly this, guys, give me a quick shout out. 
just because it's been a very very long time headphones let me close that and I'm not 100% I'm probably going to make a few mistakes actually guys to be honest right I know that I need to release the rotor brake so we'll go ahead and do that it's weird because it's inverted there we go get off you fucking bastard uh, right, I know I need generators and stuff like that as well. So generator one, generator two, master battery. Um, I hear stuff. What's this one again? This is the ox. We'll take that now as well. Um, right, I know I need fuel and stuff like that. So hydraulics, I'll need those. Why won't you let me press that? Oh. Hydraulic 1, Hydraulic 2, Electrical Pumps on, it won't let me click that for some reason. So I'm guessing I don't really need those. Um, right, we have we have electrical power, we have hydraulics, we need fuel next, I know that's a thing. So it's going to be the primer pump. And then we, uh, we need throttle, so we'll set these to flight. It's all coming back to me. Right, what, what station is those set on? These should be set on flight. Yes, they, that's where they should be. And there should be a starter switch somewhere as well. I believe it is here. Start. Nope. Oh, that's went wrong. Is it a, oh, do I have to click the one in the back? Press and hold. Oh yeah, I remember now. I remember. It's all coming back to me, guys. What's up? Davin's in the house. Good to see you, brother. Another member of the YouTube Captain's Club. Another sponsor has joined us. Welcome on board, sir. All right, let go after five seconds. NG is building, and then we open up the fuel flow valve. Stuff should be happening. Kind of. Oh no, it's shutting back down again. Oh Christ almighty, Maverick. Uh, maybe because I hit the start valve before I hit that one. Maybe stuff starting back up again. Oh, this sounds promising though. Okay, hydraulics are still good. Go for the primer on two. Hit the starter on two. Stuff's happening. 20% release. Go for the start valve. It's already open to the fuel valve. Why does it do that? Why does that come? Alright, two is building. 20% stable. Up she comes. Engine oil is looking good. Hydraulics are good. NG on two is building. Bup, 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 bup. Alright, one and two holding at 55. Engine oil's good, hydraulics are good, torque is good. Let's go for flight on one. Flight on two. She's alive, guys! How would two helimeds operate out of Royal London Hospital? I know it wouldn't happen in real life, but what about that? You just have to coordinate, dude. You just have to fucking coordinate. Patience. I, I think a lot of patience would be involved. Oh, it sounds like we're alive, guys. So 
Sounds like a fucking real helicopter, dude, doesn't it? Sounds, sounds like a beast! Sounds like a fucking beast! Right, anything else I've forgotten up here? That all looks good. We are go for flight. Hydraulics are still good. Uh, squawk and stuff like that, that'll help. I need to bring up the radio page. Sure, it's on this. I want to go ahead and clear that. How did I get to radio? There should be a button that says rad somewhere here. Why don't I see it? Flight plan, prog. Not on flight plan. Don't need to mess around with that menu. Don't need that. I need rad. I need radio. Where the fuck is it? There should be a button on the FMC that says rad. Press all the buttons, Maverick. Fuck it. Here we go. That's a, uh, what's that supposed to say? Hang on. It's supposed to say radio. Uh, Conspicuity 7000. Box that. Make sure we're squawking mode Charlie. Mode Charlie we are. Right, I need to uh, rebound the controls. I need to check that these works. This should be 102%. That does not work. Category Alpha switch sounds like it's doing something though. Hold on, let me check. Alright, that's why it's so fucking loud. I've got the speaker still on as well, god damn it. Um, right, joystick X52. RPM up, still set. That shouldn't be there. Category Alpha switch. This should be. This should be 102. 102. Doesn't work. X Roars Command. N2 for 102%. It should be that one. Why? This switch should move. Yep, nice one. Alright, category alpha. Is working as well. Right, this could go horribly wrong, guys. I've not done this for a while. Before we contact ATC, it's just Heathrow Tower that's on, actually, so we don't really need to speak to those guys. Hold on, the uh, QNH is 9 or 9 or 6. What does that give us on. That's going to give us 2 9 or 4 1. Which I will need to say here. I've forgotten where the thing is to change it. Is it this one? It is indeed. 2 9 or 4 1. Set. Right, park and brake can be released. Nose wheel, center, lock, unlocked, park and brake, pull and turn. So does that mean that it's off? We'll find out. Alright guys, here we go. Hey, welcome guys, good to see everybody that's joining us on Twitch, welcome on board. Black Spark, Mechanic, Parsnips, Tatton Hill, uh, Hayden, we've got Aeth, Prince, Kimasabi, Aaron, Chris, Lewis, Rosa, uh, is it Joan? It's not Joan, that's what that says, that says Joan bro. Uh, Braven, Amazed, Robert Strachan, Iron Man, Captain Ireland and Chris, welcome on board guys. Right, let's try and uh, see if we can get in the skies. Where's the wind coming from? The wind is 270 at 11 knots. It actually shows me that down there, which is pretty good, look. Right, so I want to get the nose wheel off the ground first, pop a little wheelie. So far, so good.
and we want the, um, I believe it's the right wheel off the ground first, I'll find out if that's wrong any second though, hold on, alright here we go, yeah right wheel up feels good, stabilise, feels good, alright let's get the nose out of wind, oh it's much, it feels way different than the bell, whoa, Alright, we got a 16 knot wind now right off the nose. So I'm going to do a um, check turn it all the way around to the right first. It's awfully bobbly here. Might just be, the wind is gusting actually. I see the wind's going from about 14 up to 18, 19, 20 knots now. Fucking hell. Alright, we'll try and do this in situ turn here. Stable. I have to give it quite a bit of side click into the wind as we go around. Oh shit. And reverse that on the way around. Attitude control is not great. The wind's gusting at 25 knots now. Fucking hell. Seems the higher we get, the. And I'm not even getting high by a lot. It's just like literally getting six feet up in the air. The wind changes from 15 knots to 25 knots. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I mean, it wasn't great, but it wasn't too bad. Let's try the same turn to the left. Power is good. That should be really saying 102%. Let's come left now. Try and do a better job with the altitude control here. Oh, she doesn't like that. She does not like that. Oh, this wind, bro. Oh, working hard, guys. Working hard. Fucking hell. Alright, it's not pretty, but we've done it. 25 knots the wind is right off the nose now. Fucking hell. It's a windy day in London, guys. Alright, category alpha switch selected. Power's good. Rotor RPM's good. Selected 102%. Just quick check on the ATC. EFRO director is not online. So I can take a quick external view. Alright, up we go. Roger. Power's good, road RPM's still good. Alright, stick forward, pedal left. Gear up. Rotor RPM back to 100%. Category Alpha switch deselected. We are flying away. Fucking hell. That was quite nerve wracking, guys. Let's see if my trim works. Alright, trim seems to be working. That's good. I'm not sure if my trim reset is going to work. Hey, Ben Parsons back. Good to see you, Ben. My main man, Darren Purvis, is in here as well. Uh, Danny's asking, will I be on Arma later? No, brother, I have to go to work after this stream, I'm afraid. Twerking and working. Alright, we're on our way to the Royal London Hospital. Collector can come back a little bit. See if I can trim out here. I really struggle to get the autopilot to work in this aircraft, so trim is a really important thing for me. I can't really fly an autopilot, so it's all about that trim snatch. It's going to be an interesting... I haven't landed on the London heliport with a wind of 25 knots before, so we'll see how this goes. Trim up, Maverick. Need a little bit more altitude as well. Hey, Captain, can you explain how you're saying You just go into the options, dude. The trim options aren't bound on the X rotors menu. You have to go into just like the regular menu. Alright, we need a little bit more altitude so we're above 500 R. We're at 450 at the moment and climbing. Alright, 
there's 500. Are we over healing yet? Yep, we make a right for Gunnersby Park now. In fact, there's no ATC online, fuck them. I'm just going to go straight for it. Twin engine aircraft, well within, uh, well within ops. So you just have to set the regular um, trim options. Davin's been flying the S92 for the past few weeks. Nice one, dude. I probably prefer this one over the uh, S92. The S92 is a beast, though. An absolute beast. Oh, we're going down, bro. Alright, wind is gusting between about 18 to 25 knots. We don't have far to go, we're going to be landing just over here where all these high rise buildings are, just on the other side of them. I uh, don't have the MD902, bro, no. In fact, I think I do actually have it. I don't really plan to fly it, though. It's uh, I think it's made, it's, it was made for X-Plane 10. Someone sent me some config files, though, to, so I can actually fly it in traffic. Traffic. Massive fucking traffic. Somebody sent me some config files so I can fly in X-Plane 11, but... Not really too interested in flying it if it's X-Plane 10, my friend. Mechanic said, true, it's gusting like mad outside. My man Mechanic's down in London somewhere, roger that. So yeah, I can feel the aircraft moving around. Those in situ turns were quite difficult to do. Traffic. Traffic. Oh, the aircraft sounds a lot better than I remember. I remember, I, I, I thought this aircraft didn't sound that great. It sounds fucking amazing, dude. Right, let's see if we can start slowing down now. I need to check if my trim reset button works as well. I might just try a cheeky, I think it's set on this button here. I'm going to press it and hope for the best. That did not do what I expected. Uh oh, that's the wrong one as well. Alright, so it looks like trim reset doesn't work, or at least I haven't managed to figure it out yet, so this is going to make landing interesting. Uh oh, something's going wrong, the uh, why is the collective locked at 100%, oh maybe because it's that. Oh, I got it. Whatever that button did, it wasn't, wasn't good, that locked the collective for some reason. That'll probably be the force, tr the force trim collective button that I've got set there. Alright, gear down. Airspeed's below 90 knots, we can take the rotor RPM now to 102%. Checked, category alpha. Selected. The gear is down, three greens, I see it. Keep this left trend coming, we're going to work the nose into wind. The wind is 25 knots from the west. Good visual on the pad. Power's good, engine RPM is good. Gear is down, three greens. Speed's good. Let's keep this left pedal in. Now crosswind at 25 knots. I'm going to keep this left trend coming until I get the nose into wind and then crab it on to the right. Alright, we're a little fast for this stage. I'm going to start dialing that off now. Okay, the nose is into wind. Power's good, rotor RPM is good. Category Alpha is set, we have 102 selected. Good forward trend. 
Good fish along the pad. Wind slightly from the right, 25 knots. Power's good. Good forward trend. Power's still good. Fighting the wind a little bit here. I'm going to square up to the pad now. A little wobbly. Good gusty wind there. Good forward trend, good rate of descent, power's good. There's the ground effect coming, stabilise. And we want the right gear down first, then you come forward a little bit more. Alright, stay there. And land the aircraft. Touching down! Nose wheels down, gently lower the collective. 102 deselected, center of the cyclic and the pedals. Fucking hell. That wasn't bad for my first attempt. Because it's a fucking game, Big Mac, and I can fly whatever I want. Right, let's check this trim out from my man, Captain um, Fruta, who was asking about the trim. Yeah, so it's just the default trim, Fruta. It's just pitch. See, look. You just select it from this menu here. Resumed.
Sound muted. Sound resumed. Microphone muted. Microphone activated. Sound muted. Hello! Oh, for fuck's sake, I think that works. God damn it. Right, guys, sorry. <laughs> my, um, my friend noticed that my SSD wasn't performing right, so I had to basically buy a PCIe card um, and basically plug my SSD in through an, a PCIe um, card and we had to take all the wires out of my PC to do that and um, yeah it looks like when we put the, the, the stuff back in maybe stuff's not really working too uh, properly so never mind my man Lee Russell's in here good to see you sir um, yeah sorry about the audio guys let me know if that happens again Moses is in the house as well guys good to see the Captain's Club joining us guys welcome my sponsors on YouTube good to see you guys I hope you're well having a good weekend um, I don't know who this fucking moron is to silver. You're the fucking bitch around here, sweetheart. Not, not me. My man, Big Mac. Where are you, fucking dumbass? Why are you flying Bristol's one three nine when they are oil and gas? Cause it's a fucking game, sir. And I can fly whatever I want. And also, FYI, there's, I don't have any uh, Helimed skins. I sent you a video of my dad doing a Coast Guard rescue in a 139 in general if you want to look. Not right now, bro. Um, what's up, Sir Boosts? Welcome along. Hey, Disabled Gamer, good to see you again, sir. I hope life is treating you well. What's up, Newcastle? Welcome along. Jamie Hayden, um, Christmas 98, and Jamie again. Welcome, guys. Toffee Top Flight Sim Studios. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Sorry for the fucking delay. Stuff is rapidly going wrong. Right, let's see if we can get a rescue. Keep me posted on the microphone, guys, if it cuts out again. Right, we're bringing the casualty back here. Create mission. Fucking hell. An RTC between a motorbike and a van. Let's find out where it is first. Eh. It's a way up to the north. We'll try and find something a bit closer. I don't really have loads of time. 25. Hey Tristan, welcome back. A car's been crossed by a HGV. Ooh, very close to Heathrow. We'll go for this one, guys. I'll show you where it is. So there's Heathrow. That's where our, it's near the Sunbury Lock, basically, we're going. So we're here in the centre of London, we're going to be heading westbound on Hotel 4, we'll join Hotel 7 and um, head over Teddington which is down here and from Teddington out to the Sunbury Lock. Teddington! Right, a woman is critically injured trapped inside her vehicle that was crushed between two heavy goods vehicles. The patient is currently being given advanced analgesia by the on-scene critical care team and is being sedated so firefighters can cut her out of the vehicle. Paramedics do not believe she will survive the trip to hospital in a road ambulance and instead need our help to get her to the waiting...
Hallo? Hallo? Yeah, that works. Fucking hell. How many jacks, bro? How many jacks have I got to try? Bob fucking Saget. Right, if it happens again... If it happens again, guys, I'm just going to fucking quit the stream and I'll see you guys on Monday. Um, it's Mother's Day tomorrow, so I'm going to spend the day with my, my lovely mother. So I won't be um, I won't be around tomorrow, but I will be two two B four so I will be around on Monday, guys. I got a day off from work on Monday, so um, if I end up fucking rage quitting, I will see you guys on Monday. Right, let's just have a quick look again for this goddamn fucking. I don't see it anywhere. Rudder trim center. That might be it. No, that's not it. Surely not. It's not going to be rudder trim. CYT release. That is not. I had that set earlier, and that is for the uh, collective trim. So it's not that. I did have this set up before. I'm going to have to go back and watch like my old stream. Um, because it's not anywhere under the X rotors, torque limiter switch. It's not any of those. ATT on. It's not going to be that. Category switch is bound. CYT. CRS sync. It's not that. Float switch. We don't need that. It's not SAS, I definitely don't want to turn the SAS off. God damn it, I can't remember. None of you guys fly this, no? No, none of you guys fly it. Engine, torque limiter switch is not. I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to watch one of my previous streams and um, get this set up again because I really do need to get, oh, hold on, maybe I'm going to. Aerolon trim center. I think that might be it, dude. I know it doesn't sound like it would be it, but I think that is what what I had bound the last time. Is it pitch trim center? No. I think I just had it set as Aerolon trim center. Apply. Let me quickly check that. Aerolon trim center, the top button. Cat, uh, category alpha is this one. 102 percent is that one. Right. All right, ATC check. London Heathrow is online. One one nine seven two five. One one nine seven two five. Quick like is check. Information Tango is current. Oh, hopefully this works. Heathrow Director, good afternoon, Heliman 27 Alpha. It is good, Jamie. It is good. Maybe my microphone's not working in X plane. Reconnected to the network, see if this works, is it? Director, good afternoon, Helimed 27 Alpha.
Heathrow Director, Helimed 27 Alpha, radio check. I don't think my microphone's working. God fucking damn it. Alright, hold on, I'm going to restart um, X Pilot here. Hey, Gravy Navy, good to see you, brother. Hey, Ryan. Ah, it's not going so well. Try London as well. One, two, nine, four, two, five. See if this works. E. Hey. Swap these frequencies. Speedbird nine zero one heavy uh, at two thousand eight hundred feet. Speedbird nine zero one London control. Hello, turn left. Maybe the worst three, fucking three, zero, actually two. station to try a radio check on. Two, four. This had one three zero by tail to police check for ahead. Try Gatwick. Uh, Clips cross over the uh, two six left threshold. Wilco Golf Charlie Charlie. Gatwick Tower. Good afternoon. Helimed two seven Alpha radio check. Helimed two seven. Gatwick Tower radio check five. Five also. Many thanks. All right, so he can fucking hear me. Off, try, try. Can you let me know my report? So it's just fucking he for director being an arse and no answer me back. He for director, Helimed two seven alpha. Helimed two seven alpha, London. Hello, he for one one nine seven two five. See. Apologies, one one nine seven two five. See ya. Fucking wrong one. Oh, what did I press there? One one nine seven two five. All right, we should be on it now. Heathrow Director, Helimed two seven Alpha. Hello sir, good afternoon. We have um, information Tango on board. We're in Augusta 139 at the Royal London Helipad. We're responding to an alpha call at the Sunbury Lock. We'd like to enter controlled airspace westbound on Hotel 4, transiting to Hotel 7 for the Sunbury Lock. Uh, speed correction, Helipad 27 Alpha, you, the hospital is in City Air Base, so uh, contact one control 129 and 425. 129 Alpha. You just for the sake of fucking three miles. Go uh, one alpha arrival. Logan one three seven one. Uh, six seven three five and silver one bravo arrival correct. Uh, I've had a good week, Lee. Yeah, I've had a busy week, a very busy week, which is why I've not been streaming. I have to get my car MOT'd and doing other bits and bobs. Been hitting the gym every morning as well and playing golf. I joined a new golf club last week, so I've been doing a lot of golf. Hey Schneckel. Monarch, sorry, no, Monarch, I'm gonna need a uh, fucking air ambulance for myself at this rate, bro. London, good afternoon. Helimed 27 Alpha. Hello, sir. We're with you at the Royal London Hospital. We are attending to an alpha call at the Sunbury Lock. We'd like to enter controlled airspace westbound on Hotel 4, transiting to Hotel 7 uh, at Fulham for the Sunbury Lock. 
2941. Alright, let's get engines and stuff ready to go here. Go. Clear tenant control, to airspace, westbound, Hotel 4, Hotel 7, Fulham, 2271 in the box for Helimed 27 Alpha. Helimed 27 Alpha, thank you. Lift off on discretion. On the safety service, wind 260 degrees, 27 knots, just in 32. 27 Alpha, we are lifting now, many thanks. Alright, flight on two. Alright, uh, engine RPM is good, we'll go for 102%, select the category alpha switch, good on the left, good on the right, we are ready to go, let's get this fucking show on the road, god damn it, did I accept the mission? I did indeed. Alright, nose wheel up, wind's gusting 32 knots, stable with the nose wheel, we'll get the right wheel off the ground first. Settle on the ground effect. Oh. Uh, uh, Power's uh, good, rotor RPM is good, let's come back and right. Power's good. Alright, stick forward. At five miles north. Collective off, pedal left. Gear up. Alright, roll RPM back to 100%, we're through ETL. Gear is up. Category Alpha deselected. Start trimming, start winning. Hey Sam, welcome along sir. Hey, what's up Loz, good to see you sister. Hope you're well. I'm having a fucking nightmare here. But we're in a beautiful aircraft, so it's sort of okay. Check this out. Get me back in the cockpit. Alright, trim, trim, trim. Take a little bit of collective off here. I haven't flied in, um, I haven't flown in squad yet, no. What's up, Mr. Staker? Awesome stream, mate. Have you thought about using... No, bro. People, people keep asking me that. It's only available for X-Plane 10. And the model's not very good, dude, so... If there was a payware version of it, I would fly it, but... The only payware ones for X Plane 10 is quite outdated, my friend. I don't know, Jay. I don't know, brother. Alright, but a little bit too low. By 50 feet, I'm going to start climbing a little bit. We need five, really should be above 500 R. Watch out for that building, bro! Five hundred R now. Hey, it's Bristol, um, Laws. Not not Bristol. Close though, sister. Close. It is the very same, my friend. 
these guys actually do some of the Helimed contracts in the UK, Bristol. I don't drink alcohol, Jay, so no, I don't. I'm the only Scotsman that doesn't drink uh, alcohol. How do you spawn on the helipad, uh, that helipad? You have to put in the code QRLH, Froggy. Quebec Romeo Lima Hotel. QRLH. Write that down, sir. Don't ask me again. What's up, fat boy? I thought people with your accent drink a lot. That's because you're fucking stupid, bro. That's because you were too busy sleeping with your sister when you should have went to school. All right, coming up for Barnes, which is our transition on to Hotel 7. All right, this is the Fulham ground there. I'm not a massive football fan, I just know it's Fulham's ground because it fucking says Fulham. All right, coming left on to Hotel 7. We're now heading for Teddington. Teddington! I don't know, statue. We're going to see when we get there. We're heading to a road traffic collision. A woman has been critically injured, trapped inside her vehicle that was crushed between two heavy goods vehicles. So it looks like we may be. It looks like. It sounds like we may be landed on a road. Sounds like we may be heading up that road, snitch. Alright, we're direct Teddington now. There's Teddington there. Teddington! Yeah, I hope you feel better soon, Laws. Fucking buster. Get in the car, sister! Get up here! I'll give you a hug and a handshake. Come up and see me, sister. You can sleep on the couch. I'm 36 years old, Kinger. Not 24 years old, brother. I know I look like a cute little chipmunk. But I'm actually 36 years old. 37 next month, bro. We'll have to do some flying soon, Loz. Alright, from Teddington we're going to Sunbury. Towards the Sunbury Lock. This accident isn't far from here. Roger, uh, heading 175 and expect further climb shortly. Alright, this will be my first confined um, landing zone in this aircraft for like four months, five months, something like that. It is very windy. The wind is gusting 32 knots. Oma says, uh, Omaha says 36 is to do 24, something like that, bro. Something like that.
Lossie would never get in the back seat, Mr. Red. No one puts baby in the corner. Something like that. I'm going to try this trim reset. Oh, it kind of works. Alright, this accent should be somewhere just off the right hand side in like two or three miles, so keep your eyes peeled for flashing blue lights. We have 16 minutes to find the accident. I'm going to start slowing down now. There's a somebody lock on the left. The incident is just over here somewhere at the right. Fuck, there's a lot of trees and stuff over there, guys. A lot of buildings and things. And this could be a bit of a mesh. Okay, should be about a mile to two miles on the right, somewhere up there. I don't see it though. Okay, we are down below 100 knots. In fact, it should be somewhere. See this? Traffic. Traffic. Massive fucking traffic. See this lake in front of us? Should be somewhere right next to there. So it looks like there's plenty of space to land on grass and stuff over there. Alright, airspeed's below 90 knots, we can take the rotor RPM to 102%, that is checked. Gear down. Still don't see this accident, no. Alright, should be... Oh, I see it, I see it! There it is, there it goes, look! Right! Let's have a quick orbit around and see if we can see any high tension power cables and stuff that can kill us. Trim has been reset. The gear is down, power's good, rotor RPM is set to 102%. Now the wind's kind of coming in for the wrong direction for me to land. I want to try and get... We're sort of crosswind now. Don't see any high tension power cables. I see lots of poles and stuff though. Whoa. The wind is really gusting 32 knots. It's a bad day to land a helicopter for the first time. Oh fucking hell. Right, I need to come up with a plan to land here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to approach from the southeast with the nose into wind and crab the aircraft to the right. And we're going to land past the accident on the road. Alright. Okay, road RPM is good. Engine power is good to get us down three greens. Trim has been reset. Category Alpha is selected. The nose is in the wind right now. I see the two trees there, the small one and the big one. I'm going to approach with the nose into wind and I'm going to turn the aircraft crosswind and land. So let's keep this forward trend coming down. Really fighting the aircraft here. Okay, 
I'm going to land in between those two trees. Roger. Alright, let's start squaring up. Power's good, road RPM is set. Watch that tree. Keep the forward trend coming. Lots of wind from the left. Power's good. Alright, sail on the ground effect. And land the aircraft. We've got to put the left wheel down first. Touching down. Alright, main gear's down. Just get the nose wheel down. Set. Lower the uh, collective gently, centre the cyclic and the pedals. Deselect the 102%, engine stay idle. Fucking hell, that was hard work. Hey, Fearless and Charles Bannister's in here. Good to see you guys. Another two members of the Captain's Club. That's not what we wanted. This is the one. Well, I've, I've been um, meaning to do this more, but watch some replays, guys. Check this replay out. Hey, Scottish pilot, good to see you, sir. Look at look how the, much, the, much the aircraft shaking. With 32 knots, it went gusting up to 32. That was hard work, guys. I hope that didn't um, mess up my... Our medical crew is picking up the patient. Stay put. Roger that. Alright guys, I'll be back in a minute.
Right, let's answer some of your questions. Toga Control says, what scenery is that? This is called the charityscenery.co.uk UK Air Ambulance Mod, my friend. I actually made this. I created all of this um, to help raise money for charity. So as payware, you do have to pay for it, but we sell it for just a pound or one dollar or one euro, whatever it is you are in the world. So if you want to actually fly to real accidents like the one you see here, get yourself to charityscenery.co.uk, guys. All the money goes to charity. I don't make any money from this. It cost me a week in my fucking life, but it's all for it's all going to a good cause. All the money raised goes to air ambulance charities in the United Kingdom. Um, what helicopter is this and where can I get it? This is the X Rotors Augusta 139, sir. Um, how do you get it to slow down and hover like that? I'm a fucking professional, sir. That's how. How does this bird compare with the Bell 222, asked Dave. It's, it's definitely a lot heavier. It's not as nimble as the 222. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Emil. Hello, my man Lion, my football supporting motherfucker. Welcome on board. Hey, what's up? Showing off, you fucking buster. Thank you very much, sir. That was hard work, dude. I was sweating. Low key, I was sweating there, dude. Right, we're very close to Heathrow Airport, guys. So we're going to have to speak to Heathrow Director to get out of here. That's where we are on the map. This is where we are on the map. There is Heathrow Airport right there, my friends. So you could, if you, if I could hit a golf ball from here to fucking Heathrow, all right? I got the guns, guys. I got the fucking guns. Boop. I could hit a golf ball from here to Heathrow. So we're going to have to speak to Heathrow Director on the way out, I think. So we'll connect back up to the network and we'll um, get airborne. My man. Oh Christ, how do I even pronounce this? Hey, what's up, Perry? We'll just call you Boss Fifty Firth. Says hello from France. Bienvenue, mon ami. Je suis Maverick. Je suis magnifique. Right, let's get on the network. Connect. Unpause. Okay, so, uh, someone. Yeah, so. Someone also asked, why did we put the why did we put one side of the aircraft down first? It's to avoid something called dynamic rollover. If you watch real aircraft land, you'll real helicopters land and take off, you'll notice that they always bring one side of the aircraft up into the air before the other. You probably won't ever see um, a helicopter take off or land with like both sides getting into the air or both sides touching the ground at the same time unless like the terrain lines up and it's to avoid something called dynamic rollover. Google it bro, check it out. Okay, the patient is safely on board and ready to fly. Get to the hospital as quickly as possible. A trauma team is standing by waiting for her arrival. Whatever you do, don't get lost. This woman needs the very best of your skills to survive. Luckily for me, I'm a fucking professional. Let's get moving. All right. Right, so we need uh, director 119725. All right, flight selected on one. Two eight three Mike, descend flight level eight zero. Descend eight zero, two eight three Mike. Flight selected on two. Hey, Carl Hughes has joined us. Good to see you, Carl. Get that link in the chat for your Discord group, sir. Carl's actually started a a virtual air ambulance service, um, like a virtual airline. The, it's called VAS, Virtual Air Ambulance Service. So make sure you check them off. What's up, Benny? Fucking buster. Benny had to log off London as we do. There was. That's why I, I didn't. I didn't want to call you back, sir. I knew I was going into Heathrow's airspace, but I thought, you know what? He sounds mega busy. Let's just uh, let him deal with a fixed wing aircraft. Now I'm fucking stuck on the ground trying to get on the radio for director. Director, hello again, Heliman 27 Alpha. Nine or nine or six. Uniform is current. Uh, yes, I will share the link. Whoop. Uh, this is the last reason I want to buy Hazel for a uh, speed of 492. Uh, Hedman 27 Alpha, he's 
Hello sir, we're with you on the ground. Information uniform is on board. Sorry, we're with you on the ground at the Sunbury Lock. We'd like to enter controlled airspace eastbound on Hotel 7 to join Hotel 4 for the Royal London Hospital. Clear to enter controlled airspace eastbound on Hotel 3, Hotel 7, Hotel 4, 7067 in the box standard operating altitude VFR for LMA 27 Alpha. 7067. Correct, QNH 9906. 9906. 7067. Alright, set. Hey Carl, can you post a link in YouTube, brother? You're very welcome, dude. Glad you didn't land on the road, mate. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, showing off the traffic doesn't stop an X-plane. Right, we have flight selected on 1 and 2. We're clear on the left, we are clear on the right. The wind's coming from the left at 32 knots gusting. We're going to take 102% on the rotor RPM. Selected. Category Alpha. Engaged. We want the nose wheel up first. And then we want the right gear off the ground before the left gear. Collector's coming in. Nose wheels up, and right wheel off the ground first. Oh, I got it. Up we go. Settle in the ground effect. Stable. Come left and get the nose in the wind. Stabilize. Power's good. Roar RPM is good. The nose is in the wind now. And we're going to come back and left. That tree's behind us on the left hand side. Let's go back first. Power's good. Let's come left now. Power's good. Rate of climb is good. Roar RPM is still good. Okay. That's 400 feet. Collective off. Stick forward. Pedal right. Gear up. Roar RPM selected back to 100%. Check. Category Alpha and selected. We are flying away. The gear is up. Back to somebody a lot. A little bit more collective off. Start trimming, start winning. Hey Andrea, man, you look like a real pilot. I'll take that as a compliment, young lady. Thank you very much. Alright, we're on our way to Teddington. Element 27 Alpha Radar Control Service. Alright, a little bit too much collective on. Let's take that off. Still got a patient comfort score of 40 out of 40. I got better transitions than Caitlin fucking Jenner, guys. Alright, come in left for Teddington. What the fuck is that noise? Can you guys hear that? Diddle? Alright, trim is life. And hello, North Coast, uh, Speedbird 1, just part of London City 2400 for 5000. Speedbird 1, he's the director, how low maintain 3000 feet? Maintain 3000, Speedbird 1. Holy shit, Aviator! Are you really sending me cash, bro? It's not coming up on my fucking alert screen, dude. Thank you so much for the donation, dude. Why isn't that coming up? My main is an Aviator. Yeah, it was Aviator. Dude, I think this is actually just, for some reason, this is cycling through old ones. I don't know why that's happening. Speedbird 1, Squawk 70, 
Sorry, this fucking kid flying Speedbird 1 has no fucking idea what he's doing. He doesn't even have a flight plan file, the fucking idiot. Mav, my older brother flies a 139 for PHI. Says they practically fly themselves. Says showing off. Nice, dude. I actually know a, a real world um, 139 pilot as well. He says something very similar, dude. They're very automated aircraft. I can't send any invites for the VAST group. It won't let me. I did have a look. We're going to have to wait for uh, Carl to post a link on YouTube. Get on a YouTube, Toga, and ask a guy called Carl Hughes. Climb 1, thank you. Climb now to fight level 7-0. Oh, dude, these fucking... Climb right now, 7 zero. What is this one? I should have walked by correction, flight level 8 zero. Dealt with. For fuck's sake, still have it. This stream's been a total clusterfuck. Just passing London City Heliport. That's it down there. You can get that from charityscenery.co.uk. I'm not a real pilot out back, no. I'm just a talented desktop pilot, sir. I'm humbly just the best desktop pilot in the world, sir, that's all. Just little old me. We actually have a legitimate donation this time. A man sure enough. Here's some cheddar, mate. Go get yourself a pizza. And a thank you so much, brother. Tomorrow is pizza day, bro. Normally I get a pizza on a Saturday, but I'm working tonight, so I can't have one tonight. Thank you so much for the $20 donation, brother. Let's start slowing down now. Okay, 100 knots, gear down. Director Helimed 27 Alpha, we have the Royal London in sight. Wind check, please. Okay, 102% selected. Helimed 27 Alpha, many thanks. Oh, fearless! We had donation as well. Thanks, brother. Don't forget the cookies with that pizza. I hear you, big dog. That's my sta that's, that's my standard operating procedure, brother. I got a medium pepperoni passion pizza. And Domino's cookies. Thank you so much, guys. Hey, Max, welcome along. Okay, 102% is selected. Category Alpha. Switch is engaged. Climb to flight 
Prem has been reset. Wind is gusting 36 knots from the west. Good visual on the pad. Power is good. Rotor RPM is set. Gear is down three greens. I can see it. Going to keep this left trend coming. Airspeed's good. Approaching dead man's curve now. Trim is life. Keep this coming round. Slightly past crosswind now. Going to keep this left trend coming. I want to be able to crab in from the northeast. Looking good, feeling good. 50 knots, we're into dead man's curve. Just transitioning through ETL. Okay. Wind is about 5 degrees on the nose to the right. Good engines, good roar RPM, the gear is down. Trim reset. Good forward trend at 48 knots. That's airspeed, or ground speed's a lot less than that. Good visual on the critical care team on the pad. Power's good. Good forward trend. I like this ready descent. The wind is really moving the aircraft around quite a bit. Power's good. Twenty-seven knots of wind over the nose from the right. Five degrees. Keep the forward trend coming. Struggling to get into the wind here, punching the hole. We'll work it down though. Power is good. Roar RPM is set. Okay, I'm going to start to square up with the pad now. Keep the forward trend coming, fighting through the wind here. Here comes ground effect. Stabilise. And land the aircraft. Come on, get it down. Alright, main gear's down. Nose wheel's still in the air. Gently get the nose wheel on the ground. Gently lower the collective. Center the cyclic. And the pedals. Quick wiggle, we're okay. Unselect 102%, engines to idle. Do 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 do. Right, let's check out the re re replay. Let's check out a replay. You have done that woman proud, pilot. The trauma team will get her ready for immediate life saving surgery. There's no way a road ambulance would have got her here in time. Great work. You are goddamn right. Oh, that's my alarm going off to tell me to start getting ready for to make that fucking lunch. I eat chicken and broccoli every fucking day, guys. I'm fucking sick of it. Right, let's check out this replay. That's the wrong button. Two. Right, so we'll watch it from the back here where these guys are. Quite a decent approach. Wasn't great, but I really struggled with the wind. This is the first time I flew this aircraft for about four months, maybe five months I haven't flown this aircraft for. So, quite a tough day actually, guys. Total disclosure. Quite a tough day to be learning to fly the aircraft again. Hey, thanks, guy. I have been watching the golf fearless. I've been watching as much as I can, dude. Uh, my man Bryson's doing really well. My fa my top like four golfers are Tiger Woods, Bryson DeChambeau, Jordan Spieth, Brooks Kepka, top five, and um, Fleetwood. They're my my top five golfers. My favorite golfers to watch. I really like Jordan Spieth. He's a great golfer. I like the big guns, obviously the, the big hitters, Bryson DeChambeau and uh, my man Brooks. Unfortunately Brooks is out with a, an injured knee so he's not playing. 
but yeah, Tommy Fleetwood's great as well. I enjoy watching Tommy. Mav, your patient is uh, Mav, your patient is very pleased with the ride. Unfortunately, said patient will have a heart attack when the bill arrives. Not in the United Kingdom, sir. See all you Americans that go, I can't believe you guys don't get free health care. You guys pay for it with your taxis, bro. In the United Kingdom, if you need an air ambulance to come and rescue, you don't pay for it, son. It's all included in your taxis. It's a good idea, America. Get fucking on board, guys. I'm sick of hearing about this. I'm sick of hearing about, oh, and we don't want free health care. We don't want to pay taxis. Yeah, well, you guys fucking get an air ambulance. It costs you thousands of dollars, bro. We get an air ambulance. It costs fuck all. Right, guys, this is going to be it. This is, uh, we're going to watch this replay, and then that's going to be it. I need to start cooking my um, lunch and get ready to go to work. I start working about an hour, an hour and a half. So I need to put my makeup on, shave my legs. This is the point when I started really struggling with a headwind. Thanks, Andrea. I'm a truck driver in real life showing off. That was a little bit bumpy actually. Yeah, struggled a little bit there, guys. Just with the wind gusting 36 knots, it was a little bit of a struggle. Right, let's get these engines powered down. I 
I love the noise on this helicopter. I didn't like it before, but I actually really like it. It just sounds fucking powerful. Sounds like a powerful fucking aircraft. You're welcome, Avnish. I'm a VIP, I'm a VIP fearless. I can park whatever I want, brother. Whatever I want. You know why? Come on, son. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around and we will we'll host someone else. That sound, bro. God damn it. Alright, here's something you won't hear any other streamer say, guys. Fuck all the new followers on uh, YouTube. Fuck all the new subscribers on... Uh, sorry, fuck all the new followers on Twitch. Fuck all the new subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much to all the old followers on Twitch. All the old subscribers on YouTube that keep coming back stream after stream, guys. I know at the end of every stream, I always thank the new people. And I was thinking the other day, you know what? Fuck the new people, bro. Thank you so much for all you guys that tune in fucking day in, day out. And you're always watching. You're always there for me. You guys are donating, supporting me and stuff like that. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you uh, taking the time out of your day to come and join me for a few flights. I will hopefully see you guys on Monday. I'm not going to be able to stream tomorrow because it's Mother's Day. So I have to spend uh, the day with Mother, darling. So I have taken Monday off work, so I will hopefully see you guys on Monday. So uh, yeah, take care of yourselves guys, watch Top Gun over the weekend if you can, try and get out there and play some volleyball, look after yourself, your friends and your families, and I will see you next time. I am not Scott Manley. Fly safe. And remember to check out charityscenery.co.uk, you fucking bastard.